I grew up in North Andover and came from a really good family. I had a regular normal childhood vacations and family dinners and I played sports. So I played hockey. It was my first time being around older kids when I was in the locker room playing hockey. I kind of looked up to those kids and kind of always worried about what they thought of me and if I was acting the right way or whatever. And it was my sophomore year in high school. I was probably 15 or 16. I went to a party and I saw the captain of my hockey team drinking and smoking weed. And instead of me thinking that what, thinking that he was bad for what he was doing, I thought drinking and smoking wasn't that bad if he was doing it. I started getting into a habit of going out on the weekends in high school and partying, just drinking beer, smoking weed, and thinking that it wasn't a big deal because so many other people were doing it. And it wasn't until after high school when I was introduced to opiates. Just like when I first drank and smoked weed, I tried it, I liked it, and I did it again. I had no idea. I didn't know that I could become physically addicted. I didn't know that the road of Oxycontin leads to heroin. I was caught up in it and I just wanted to have fun and party. So I started crushing up Oxycontin and sniffing them. That led to using heroin. I was introduced to needles. That was a huge step for me. And that's when my life really started to get out of control. Lost my job, got kicked out of my apartment. I had my parents, my friends, all calling me saying, let us help you. Please, we love you, we wanna help you. I said, I'll quit on my own, I can handle it, I'm in control. And I pretty much said, leave me alone. And I said it to everybody. And it was right around then when they had to see me on the front page of every paper and on the news, because I got arrested for a bank robbery. You could say anything to get you out of the situation. I could have said, no, I'm not comfortable with that. And I could have stood up for what I believed in and not cared what other people thought. But that's probably the hardest thing for a high school kid to do or, or a, um, a kid of any age to do. Come up with an excuse. You can say, um, hey, you know, I know someone who tried that once and they went down a really bad path or they had a really bad problem. And um, I'm sure people do know somebody. It doesn't end well for so many people. Um, I was going through my contacts the other day on my phone and I have three people that are in my phone who are no longer alive. They died of overdoses. If you had taken a lineup, you know, freshman year in high school and said, who of all these kids will become a drug addict? No one would have ever picked me.